In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can quickly and easily pull in any stock prices you want into a Python data frame for free using the Yahoo Finance library. Now let's just jump into it and import our required libraries. So we're going to be needing three libraries. If you don't have any of these three libraries installed, you can just go to the control panel, not the control panel, the command prompt. So go to command prompt and then just type pip install y finance for example and hit enter i already have it on my computer so i don't need to hit enter but just as an example and you can do that for any of these three if you don't have them so first we're going to import y finance as yf then we'll import pandas as pd and then from date time we will import date time and time delta so time delta is just going to be used to find the uh, time range of the last two years later on. And pandas will be used to store our data frame table of the stock prices and why finance will be used to pull in the stock prices. So first thing we're going to do is define which stocks we actually want based on their tickers and the time range that we're interested in. So let's set up the tickers here. So tickers will be equal to and then in brackets, we're going to put them in quotes. So first is SPY, which is the S&P 500 in, uh, index. Uh, next is BND, which is the one of the largest bond uh, ETFs. Then we're interested in GLD, which is the biggest gold uh, ETF. And then VTI is the largest all world stock index. And then finally, we're interested in uh, the largest NASDAQ ETF, QQQ. Okay, so we've got all our tickers there. Then we're going to set the uh, end date to today, right? So we'll say end date. So this is gonna be the time range that we're interested in, equals date time. And then, oh, whoops. And then we'll put dot today. So that's just gonna find uh, today. And we can print this out right now just to make sure we're pulling in. The right thing so i'll grab end date and i'll just paste it in there right let's run this or let's run both of these and see this is today and so we're printing out the correct time okay uh set the start date to two years ago so this is we're going to use that time delta from above okay so let's go to start date equals end date minus and we'll use time delta and so I'm wanting to go back two years. So I'll do two times 365 days in a year. And then let's just print that out just to make sure we got the right date as well. So then we'll type start date. And we'll print that. And there we go. So that is uh, two years ago from today because I'm doing this uh, uh, in 2023. Um, hello from the past. So now what we're going to do is download the close prices. So if you're doing any sort of portfolio measurement, I would probably suggest using adjusted close prices, but just for the sake of this video, I'm going to stick to close prices. Okay, create an empty data frame to store the close prices. So we're going to name this close uh, DF. So DF just stands for data frame, and then we'll do PD dot uh, data frame. And we're going to put... Uh, parentheses after that and hit run okay so we've just created an empty data frame but now we need to populate it with the values so here's where we're going to download the close prices for each ticker so then for ticker and tickers now we'll just say data equals yf dot download so we're finally using that yahoo finance library ticker um, uh, start equals start date and then end equals end date. So that should get us our data. And then the last thing that we want to do is put it into a new data frame or sorry, no, no. Yes, we'll add a, make a new data frame called close DF and then in there, ticker in brackets and then equals data and then we'll just put close oh whoops i did not i accidentally hit something on my keyboard uh <laughs> so close so basically we're just grabbing the close price out of there and then we're gonna hit 
we'll run that. So we just downloaded the close price for all five of them. And then the last thing we're going to do is we're just going to print that data frame we just made. Print close DF just to make sure we did everything correctly. And let's run that. And there we go. So for all five of our tickers, we've got prices for all the dates for the last two years. I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for watching.